Hey guys, summer's almost over. Bummer. It's almost Labor Day. I hope you have great plans, but a little bit of an update here. Obviously, August in both San Francisco and Marin is a little bit of a slower time. But in general, what we're seeing from buyers is they're a little wary. They don't know if the market's going up, the market's going down, are the IPOs that we had going to affect our market? We're not seeing any of that yet. There are a lot of unknowns. So what we're seeing from buyers is a little bit of anxiety. Now, how does that transfer over throughout our market and what we're looking at now? Well, as a seller, you have to get rid of the unknowns for buyers. What's an unknown? The cost of construction. A buyer may walk into a place and say, I don't know how much it's gonna to cost to renovate this kitchen, this bathroom, etc. We have to get rid of unknowns as we're getting properties ready for the market. For example, right now we are in one of my absolute favorite houses. It is a huge house in Pacific Heights and we're getting it ready. The story here is that this house was beautifully done, but very particular style to the sellers. We showed it a couple of times off market and buyers couldn't see through their style and they didn't know what it would cost to then make it their style. For example, there were beautiful fabric walls throughout the entire house, but a lot of people didn't know what to do with that. That wasn't their style. So what we're doing now is we're depersonalizing. We're taking down fabric walls, we're painting walls, we're refinishing floors, and we're making it so there are no unknowns. Again, it was a beautiful house to begin with. Nothing structural, nothing cosmetic, literally just fabric walls are now being going to be painted and watch, this house will fly off the market. So now we're over in the Divisadero corridor. So the last house in Pack Lights, right? It just needed to be depersonalized, super awesome house. This place was outdated. It's an amazing one bedroom, one bath in a very historical type building, but it had brown kitchen cabinets, it had granite countertops, it had no backsplash, it had yellow floors, it had an outdated bathroom. Um, so here, just doing little things like changing countertops, painting cabinets, changing out hinges, putting on cute little brass knobs, those are the types of things where buyers then can walk in and say, oh, there are no unknowns. I don't have to update anything, this is exactly how I want it. I can bring my suitcases and move in. And again, as a seller, especially in a market that's a little bit unknown, we're trying to get rid of any additional unknowns for buyers. So we've seen as sellers, we have to be prepared. We have to make the properties ready for buyers to move in. So what we're seeing in summary is that places that are priced properly and are moving ready, done, 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 like these two places will be, are selling quickly. Places that are not priced right, still have work that need to be done, have some unknowns for buyers, are sitting on the market longer. And again, as we talked about, buyers don't like any more unknowns right now. Now we're coming into our fall market, which is typically one of our busiest markets. I can assure you right now, there's a lot of new inventory coming after Labor Day in September. Now, good news is, interest rates are still incredibly low under 3% for a 30 year fixed mortgage. That's keeping buyers very engaged. I also think with some of the IPO money where people are now having access to it, that's gonna stop our market from taking a little bit of a tumble right now. I think we're gonna have a really strong fall market, prep your properties well, buyers should be ready knowing that they're paying less interest, so they're gonna end up paying less money for their place over a long period of time. We're gonna have an awesome fall, and who knows what's going to happen six months from now. But right now, I think we're heading into a strong market.